to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth after all. I still get to be mayor? Alright everybody, and welcome to Fable. Now, I recorded this whole thing, and none of the audio from the game came in. So I'm going to chop it up and explain exactly what the hell's going on. That way, nobody's lost. So as you can see, I'm still in jail, and the whole purpose of this is to win a race, to get counsel with the warden, to get the key from his office to escape, and annihilate everybody. The racing aspect actually wasn't too bad. Uh, my character towered over all the other opponents, and it was actually quite easy to beat the race. I even did a wrong turn and uh, still ended up catching up and getting in first place. I really love how the fact that the, the character that you play as is naked, and the first thing you see is this big-ass uh, British flag up on his ass. Like, I think it's British anyway. I, I don't know. Um, pothead, so I don't always... No, I know what I'm talking about. It's a foreign flag. That's, a, that's what I need to know. But yeah. And uh, the guards cheering us on and pointing us in directions that we have to go. I didn't remember seeing them do that before. And they do it in this one. No problem. Leading you right to the end. I, like I said, like I fall behind and I caught right up and beat them in this. Okay, so at the end of the race, uh, we find the warden is sitting at the finish line. And we've been told about some reward and that the key to the cells are in his office. And come to find out, we have to hear poetry while we're in the warden's office. Oh, I couldn't God. believe that we were in the warden's office so that the warden could read poetry that he posted up on his wall. And he turns his back to us to read it. Like, we're prisoners, why would you turn your back on us? But, I guess one prisoner in the office, he's going to turn his back on me. And while he's got his back turned, I'm going to sneak around and grab the coat off the bulletin board. And then sneak back to the table where the three books are to try to find the key. Now, I don't know if I just chose the wrong book, or if you're supposed to sit there for another year, but... I chose the wrong book at the first time and ended up in the torch chamber anyway, which is bullshit if you think about it, because I won the race. I shouldn't be in the torch chamber, but I was in the torch chamber, and then I have to do a foot race yet again. The darkness of the cell consumed the hero's mind. Hell yeah. It's and it now. consumed his life too. Another year would pass by in this prison. And I gotta run again. Another year of torture. The ancient, noble blood in his veins, the power of the guild, none of it meant a thing inside these walls. And all this time, Jack of Blades was free to roam Albion. Until I get the hero would not be beaten, he would be free. Hell yeah, and then I'm gonna whoop that motherfucker's ass. Okay, so race number two. We've spent a little time in prison. I got a little uh, beard going. I got I got my hair growing back out. I'm not just a bald dude with glowing tattoo things around me. I guess those are that's actually your will in your body, like coming out like your veins. But it just looks like tribal tattoos, really. But yeah, we get back into the warden's office and uh, let's try this shit again. Uh, the trick with the warden's office is when you're sneaking, you got those two uh, bars underneath your mini map. Uh, one is for the warden's hearing, and the other one, uh, I forgot what the other one was for, but I pay attention to the warden's face bar, because that'll tell me if he can hear me or not, and yeah, that makes it a little bit easier to get around. If you know you're being too loud, you can just stop for a second, you know? When you actually get the key, uh, you don't get sent to the torture chamber, because I guess that key is the key to all the doors, because, you know, why not? One key fits them all. And, uh, 
So we get locked back in our cell because the warden has lost his keys. So everybody's on lockdown until the warden finds his keys. In the meantime, I'm going to take this opportunity to open my cell door, sneak across, find a, a weapon of some kind. I think I find a stick first. And then I'm going to let everybody else out. And then I'm going to leave. I'm going to start some shit. And then I'm going to run around, find my stuff, come back out, break my mom out. And then we're going to get the hell out of here. Because prison's no place for an innocent lady who won the arena. Or her son, who also won the arena. Seems like this Jack of Blades dude's just a douchebag. Once you have all your stuff, it's pretty easy. I wasted no time. I immediately changed back into my actual gear that I use. With my axe that has the silver augment in it. And my armor that helps with my HP and my protection. When you enter the room where your mom is locked up, all you gotta do is flip the switch, the door will open, and then she talks some shit, like, come on, let's go. So we leave right away, and we run into this giant monster thing that actually took me, like, 25 minutes to kill off. Cheap, bastard-ass game, alright? Definitely cheap. I, I remember how cheap it was playing this game when I was a kid, and it was a pain in the ass. If I could swear more at the actual age I played this the first time... I would have been swearing like a sailor. My dad probably would have smacked the taste right out of my mouth for swearing as much as I did. But, got through it. Alright, so after you defeat the monster, you and your mom leave the, the sewer or prison area or whatever, and she actually gives you more power, just like Teresa did when you first found her at Twin Blades Camp. It's actually pretty creepy. Uh, anytime your powers get awakened, you kind of look like you've been possessed. It's weird. After all of that, I did some running around, I got a different outfit, upgraded my powers a little bit, and I believe we can pull the sword out now, so let's get to it. Alright, so, we're gonna pull out that damn sword. Yeah, we're gonna pull out that sword. Look at my new outfit. See what I did while we were gone? I can't believe that last video corrupted the way it did and didn't record any of the gameplay. That's just crazy to me. So, let's go pull out that sword. To the pull up! Glade. Just gonna run around here real quick. Alright, we gotta get to the temple of Avo. That's that's what we're working on right now, is going to the temple. Hey, what do you got? I hope everything is Nothing. I'm still on the hunt for like dark wear. Um, like the dark plate mail and the dark leather. I'm still looking for all of that. Hey, you. Fuck you, Rock Giant. Fuck you. I'm on the on, I'm on a mission to pull a sword from a stone like fucking King Arthur. You can go suck a nut. I'm out here. Hooray! At the Temple of Avo. Let's go to where all these people are. Up here. My way! You can't do that. Look at you. Look at you. That sword looks ripped. Yeah, I don't care that the sword looks really tough. It someone really powerful to pull that sword out. It's jammed in good, I tell you. Yeah, maybe because it's a fucking sword in a stone, bruh. Move. Chance. All right, pull that bitch. Go on, you can do it. I know I can. <laughs> what? Another loser. I bet that thunder could do it. Does he pass this way often? 
What? My strength is all the way up. I think you need to be pretty tough to do this. Tough? I need to be tough? I upgraded my strength and it was toughness that I needed to upgrade? What kind of bullshit is that? Ah! Ah! Oh, well, let's teleport and do something. We'll go back to the Heroes Guild. Teleport! Alright, we have missions out this way. Hell no, you cannot be of assistance. Alright, so let's see what we got going on here. There's somebody that I can talk to up here. Hey, buddy. Uh, I don't feel like escorting anybody. Sorry. Not a thing. That's something do gooders do. Look at me. I'm a bad man. I like how pretty this game is. It's actually quite beautiful for the times. Oh, you know what? We can do that thing for Lady Grey. We need to find a black rose. There's gotta be a tavern or something around here. Yes, it's me. Wow. Ready to help? Okay, so the tavern doesn't have what I want. I have no idea where to get the black rose, so we're gonna come up here and find out what's up. Alright, maybe there's a dude over here. I remember hearing somebody like cry for help this way. You're in terrible danger. You are on quest. Alright, hero. Finally, someone to talk to. You've got to help me out. The mayor's having me executed. That's what happens when you start asking too many questions round here. That woman is a demon, but no one will believe me. Just because I was wrong about the guards controlling our dreams by spiking our water supplies. Her sister was an angel. Would have made a wonderful mayor. And I know Lady Grey killed her. I just know it. You have to help me prove it. You sound like Otherwise, a crazy conspiracy the theorist. Will remain in her clutches, and I'll be executed. Okay. Do I want to help the prisoner investigate the death of Lady Grey's sister? Yeah, sure, why the yes, fuck not? finally! We're going to bring that crazy witch down. All you need to do is get her dead sister to tell you what really happened. How? Don't give me that look. We all know ghosts exist. You've seen them. I've seen them. We've all seen them. Uh... Lady Grey's sister, Amanda, had a sweetheart called Rodri. Nice guy, usually hangs out in Barrowfields. If anyone knows how to entice her out of oblivion, it's him. What's he gonna do? Hang his wiener out? I have spoken to Rodri yet. I told you, he's in Barrowfields. Barrowfields. Listen to me, you're all doomed! Alright, let's see if we can't teleport. Teleport! Barrowfield! Running. I wonder if this dude's the one who, who I'm supposed to talk to. Bother getting up in the morning. It's gotta be. Amanda. Yes. Of course, I knew her. I think about her all the time. She was so beautiful. So pure. She was afraid her sister... ...still would fight about her and against her. I'm... Right, no you a scrubby motherfucker. So we'd see Cray have. I would stay. 
ankles and smile three times. Is lamp code for dick? Uh, night come out and sell a docked. Her step, LV. Yes, she's now told. Terrible illness. Then the house was abandoned and I never even got to. I'm sorry. It's too painful to talk about. Okay. Well, I'm out of here then. So, I guess now I gotta go to the abandoned house or whatever, so we're gonna go there. I don't want to teleport, because I'm pretty sure I can recall my teleport to where I was standing in front of that gate, where the guy was. So, the next gray house, and it looks like we got undead here, too. Ooh, I'm gonna fuck all of you up. Check this new move out. Oh, 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 that's not a new move. That's not a new move. Hold on. New move. We got some new move. Where? Oh. There it is. Alright, assholes. Check this out. Back to hell with you! Oh, you wanna talk about some OP shit? Now that's some OP shit right there. That was awesome. There we go. He's dead. All right. Next. I gotta go to this house, I believe. Uh, well, I've been here before, ironically. Nothing of interest. I gotta rummage through everything. Nothing of interest. Did I already rummage through everything? Nothing of interest. I must have rummaged through everything here already. Nothing. This is a creepy fucking house, though. For real. Nothing of interest. Oh, damn it! Okay, so I don't see anything over here. Like, I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to do here, but I guess we're gonna find out. What's behind here? Is she back here? Not dead, only sleeping. Buried me a l Anyway. Unlucky. <laughs> Let me out. I'm not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. Nobody's told me anything except for this house was abandoned. That's. That's really it. What's up, fellas? What's up, fellers? Back to hell with you! Mm. Fucking magic demon powers, motherfucker. Yeah, look at all that death. Death and destruction. Quit blocking! You're already dead. What are you worried about? Just die again. From hell! And that's just how we do it. <laughs> you want some? Demon door want then. Single men not allowed. Oh, it wants me to be married. Damn it. Alright. 
I still have no idea how to how to do this here. What am I supposed to do? Ooh, is there a cellar here maybe? Cellar cellar dweller. No? Can't go in the cellar? I'm gonna look up and see what I'm supposed to do. According to this, I'm just supposed to walk up in here. I don't know, for some reason it's not doing what it's showing me it's supposed to do. I wonder if I have to like do it a certain time of the day or something. <gasps> or maybe it's all fucked up because I've already been here. Let me recall the homeboy, see what happens. Speaking up! Justice. You have hey, I went to her fucking house. Used to meet in the cellar. Perfect. Must have been pretty damp though. Anyway, go to the stables and flash your lamp three times. Her love for Rodri should summon her spirit. We'll soon find out what really happened, and watch out for the horse dung. All right, back to the gray house. We gotta go to the horse stables. Gray house. Yeah. Check guys. Fuck yeah! Ow. What the fuck, bud? Hey -ya! All right. I am now at the horse stables. Yeah. I can go into the cellar. Cellar dweller. I think that's actually a song. Cellar dweller. Sounds familiar. All right, into the cellar. Rodri, is that you? I've waited for you so long, and I wait. You're not Rodri. No, I'm not. I'm more I ugly. That he would rescue me, but he never came. You're dead. When the air ran out, I closed my eyes and imagined I was dying in his arms. You have a pole in your I'll chest. I'll never see him again. And my sister has taken everything. People must know the truth about her. Take this letter. Show the world what really happened. Aw shit! Fuck you, Lady Grey. You're a murderous bitch. The deceased corpse of a young gal. So, now you know the truth. Oh shit, she's here. Amanda was a weak, romantic fool. She didn't have what it takes to run Bowerstone. Oh god. She would have turned the whole place into an egalitarian slum. But don't worry your pretty head with such big words. We can still be together. You 
Uh huh. Using your vagina to try to keep me silent. I don't know, maybe. Mayor, it can all be yours. Just hand over the letter. Oh. Oh. Um. She's offering me power, guys. She's offering me power. But a hero, that dude's gonna be executed if I do it. Mmm. I don't think I can go back on this either. Uh. Nah, I don't like murder. What refuses Lady Grey? But I do. No one. Oh, you ain't gonna like this. Like the rest of those imbeciles, infecting my city with their petty little lives. Bitch. Fine then. Tell everyone. Have your moment of glory. Oh, I will. You're not but gonna try to stop I me. I will return one day. And I will wash away all the filth with your blood. Remember that. Hero. Ha! I guess I did earn that title there. Hero! Yeah, I did a hero thing right there. Okay. Let's go back to homeboy. Have a good day. What's up, buddy? I was right. Yeah. So she did kill her sister. Yeah. Wow. I've never been right before. You sent me on a goose yeah, ch chase? No one will call me Crazy Gethin after this. You're still Crazy Gethin. Lady Grey passed through here earlier, and it looked like she was leaving for good. Yeah, probably. Now, if you would just tell the sheriff to let me out, he might even have a reward for you. I doubt it. Unless he's secretly Jack of Blades in a cunning disguise. Yes, that would make sense. Not really. I have to tell everyone as soon as I'm free. Um... Where's the guard? Guard! 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 Hey! Guard! Hello again. Alright, I guess you're not the one to talk to. Sponsor the guards. No. Maybe I gotta tell this one. Unbelievable! So get him was right all along! Oh, I suppose we'd better release him. Or you can keep him. He's crazy as fuck. He'd better not start that nonsense about me spiking the water supply again, no? No, now you're Jack of Blades, bro. We'll have to find a new mayor, too. Huh. I don't suppose you'll be interested in the job. You have proved your worth, after all. I still get to be mayor? Hell yeah! Fuck you, bitch. I'm still the mayor. That's right. Mayor Brutal! Bow to me. I mean, clap for me. <laughs> That's right, you better hold your hand up to me, motherfucker. So, yeah! Yeah, Barstone Manor! Woo! What's in here? Oh. Oh, what is all this? What is all this? What's over here? So many questions. Holy fuck, Lady Gray's bedroom. This is a dope ass bedroom! Look, I'm already matching. And I got a silver key from the bed. That's weird. How was I mean for that? This is mine now. It's mine. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. Look at that. Punch that shit. I guess it's technically stealing, I guess. Because this is all technically Lady Grey's. But who gives a fuck? It's mine now. What's this crystal thing? Can, can I look at it? No. Nothing. Alright, well... We're the fucking mayor of Bowerstone now. Me and my Fu Manchu. I don't really have a Fu Manchu. Either way. What else can we do? Well, I'm the fucking mayor now. So, look at my beauty. Look at that beautiful face. Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna leave it here, guys. I am now the fucking mayor. So, fuck yeah. Mayor Brutal. Signing out. I will see you guys in the next one. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps us out a whole lot. Uh, 
yeah, I'm going to be rushing through this. This is probably the last side mission I'm going to do on camera just because of things that just happened. So, uh, I'm going to finish this up here real quick, and uh, then we can move on to the next table. Hopefully you guys are enjoying, and I uh, will see you in the next one. Peace! DJ Brutal Entertainment! Yeah!